is my Yeezy 350 version 2 Pirate Black slash uh, bread uh, unboxing slash review. I picked these up today from Size in Birmingham and uh, I was amazed that I won the raffle to be quite honest. These bad boys right here are crazy. Like so simple but so clean at the same time. Like it's the exact same as every other 350 version 2 apart from uh, the belugas, obviously they were grey with the uh, orange stripe down the side but yeah this has no real visible stripe as you can see but there is still a stripe there believe it or not I'll show you on the toe box you can see it just stops there see where the prime net kind of changes in texture that is the stripe like on all of the 350 version 2's but yeah the two major differences on this 350 version 2 compared to all the other 350 version 2's is clearly there's no stripe well there's no visible stripe and that back tab on the back which is it's a crazy touch let's be honest but yeah I think it's the exact same pull tab that was used on the Pirate Black version 1's a close up a bit yeah, the exact same. These are 100% legitimate, by the way. Here's the receipt just to prove to everybody. I just cover up all my details. £150. It says easy, and then you can see, I think you can see the time it was bought and everything. But yeah, on the insole, it's got um, easy and then the Troy foil, I think it's called. With the, it says easy Adidas. But it says it in white, which is strange considering that everything else is black and red, apart from the boost on the bottom. You've obviously got your um, 3M, three stripes on the back, which is one way to tell if they're legitimate or not. This is the uh, three stripes reflect, which they do on my other 350 version 2s. These are the uh, Oreos. The, uh, black and white but yeah back to these so yeah such a clean shoe obviously it's prime knit along with boost on the sole same as every other version 2 sole with boost which is I personally think it's a bit harder than uh, it's a bit harder than a uh, version 1 boost or ultra boost stuff like that, NMDs. I think it may be because it's encased in plastic. You have your uh, Adidas logo on the bottom, which is a nice touch too. These are a size uh, UK nine and a half. People were saying that these either fit too small or um, they fit perfectly, true to size. So on these I went true to size and on these I went a half size up these fit great although my foot does touch the top of here which isn't a problem to be honest it's still comfy there's no problem in it and uh, my toes stop about there which is plenty of room I've heard people that have bought size 8s or 9s been a true to that size and their toes have been up here but I bought these in a nine and a half. I haven't tried them on yet, but I feel like when I do, that they're gonna fit a lot more comfortably. I mean, these fit comfortably, but I feel like these are gonna fit more comfortably due to going up that half size. These fit a little bit more narrow than uh, Belugas. Like all of the V2s apart from Belugas, apparently the Belugas fit like true to size because they're not as narrow here. See that plastic that dips in. It's not as narrow on the side here. It's more out. And apparently that makes it fit a bit better. But people are still having to go like half size up or a full size. But some people fit in them true to size and they were comfortable. But I've got quite a um, narrow foot, so true to size in these is fine. Half size up in these should still be fine. Here's the box that the uh, Yeezy 350 version 2's come in. As you can see on the side, it just says core black, core black, and red. And it's a UK 9.5 uh, US 10. 
I am a UK 9, but I felt like going up half a size on these. Like every other Yeezy box. But these are legitimate, and my other Yeezy box here, along with these, are also legit. You can't see on camera, but the print on this is a lot duller than it is on the other 350 box, which is the Oreo 350 version 2 box. Yeah, on the back it says uh, Yeezy Boost 350 made by Adidas, adidas.com slash Kanye. And then you've got only a little Adidas logo on the side. It says Boost on the top, 350. These are composed of a all black prime knit upper with SPL white 350 in red on the side. And then like a rubberized sole and midsole with uh, enclosed boost but you've also got exposed windows like on every other uh, Adidas Yeezy apart from the 950s which don't have boost at all but every other Adidas Yeezy has boost and it's exposed like every other Yeezy you've got your get it to focus. you've got your boost impulse on there which are different to the version ones they're kind of similar to the boost um, dimples that are on the 750s they're lines instead of like dots boost on the bottom 